<laughs> Claire, nice to meet you here in Berlin. Lovely to meet you here in you, Berlin. <laughs> you are one of the European shooting stars this year. Yes. How does it feel? It feels amazing. It feels absolutely incredible. It's a huge milestone in my career. Mm. You have gained a lot of experience, especially as a theater actress. Mm. As a film actress, you are a real newcomer. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I started out much more in theater and uh, I was writing for uh, a film really before I became more involved in the film itself. And so I feel like I've come to film a bit later, but um, I'm really glad because in the end I came in and got big roles, you know? So like, mm -hmm. even though I, I, I started out in theater, I now am in film, but in a really nice way. It's, um, so I feel very lucky. How surprised were you when the invitation to the Berlinale came? <laughs> I was very, very surprised. <laughs> it was just before Christmas and I, I, I thought it was the best Christmas present that ever happened. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. And how important is this award for you? It's really, really important because any Irish actor that has ever gotten this award, they have gone on to have a very flourishing and diverse career. So for me, I, I just hope that I follow in the same footsteps. Um, it seems to me that it completely transforms your career from this point on. Mm. The Berlinale is supposed to be something like a platform or con contact exchange for the shooting star. Have you already made contacts abroad? Mostly, with, yes. yes? <laughs> Mostly with the other actors. <laughs> I feel like I want to stay their friends. Um, we all have already bonded in 24 hours and we're all laughing a lot and talking and joking, but it's, it's very genuine, it's very authentic. And I just, I think they're just incredible people. I also just love the people that organize the festival. I just think they're, They're really doing something important here, and they're they're interconnecting everyone: producers, directors, writers, actors. Okay. And this is a hotbed of creativity for the future. And um, so it's really, really, yeah. I, I really feel like I'm making contacts every single moment. How long do you stay here in Berlin? Uh, we all stay till Tuesday, till the day after the the big red carpet moment. And do you have time to see something of Berlin um, or theatre? I don't know if we have too much time to to like get around Berlin, but we have a couple of hours here and there, so we might get to see some films, we hope. Last year you worked with a great Ridley Scott. <laughs> yeah. How did it come? It was just an audition and it was uh, a very small role. And then on the day, though, uh, Ridley was very much a gentleman. He talks to every actor that he works with at the start of the day. And then we, because of COVID, we were all very obviously separated and very safe then. And then we worked through, through the day. And at the end, he thanked me for my work. He said, you did a lot today. Thank you very much for your work. And I thought that was the mark of a true, uh, gener like generous and collaborative artist. I think he's very, very kind. And I think there's a reason he is who he is. Um, yeah. And how was it for you to play with so many famous actors? Oh, well, I only had one scene. I mean, it was fine. It was one scene. It was fine. <laughs> like, I, it wasn't that big. So I really wouldn't make a big deal of the last duel. Mm. And um, with herself, you have already written your own role. Yeah. Um, how did that come? Um, I was basically inspired by uh, a friend's situation who was, she, she had three kids and she had to move house, but there was nowhere to move because of a housing crisis in Dublin. And I was so angry on behalf of so many people in my generation about the housing crisis. I wrote this film about a woman who um, is a single mother and she's trying to build a house for herself in Dublin. And basically it came about by me just wanting to tell a different story. So I picked up my pen and I started writing and I didn't know how to do it at the start, but I learned by reading books and meeting up with writers. And then eventually I got some support from uh, Screen Ireland in Ireland. And then Sharon Horgan, the producer, came on board and then a director. It was step by step, but 
it was it was really incredible to start something as an idea and then finish it through in the end you know um, films are they take a long time to come about and I realized that actually it's because all of the art forms come together and so they're kind of a miracle and so you as much as you have to push them and make it happen you also have to allow it to have its journey because when it happens it needs to happen in the right moment um, so yeah I, I was really glad that it happened like that in the end I hope that answers your question herself was a long journey basically <laughs> but um, it started out one way and then it ended in a really great way in the end mm -hmm. you know and if you have a, one wish what uh, who would you like to play oh who would I like a to play a role or, uh, huh? a historical role maybe or, or maybe a science um, fiction I'd love to play um, Wonder Woman, <laughs> a okay. comedy version. <laughs> um, okay. I think, yeah, something like that. Or like, I'd love to be in a movie where I get to uh, sing or something or make people laugh because I haven't got to do that yet. Mm. So, yeah. Um, my last question. Sure. Uh, what are your next projects? What can you tell us? Uh, I'm doing series two of Kin. Um, I've writ I'm in the process of writing um, a TV pilot and then another feature film. So I've I've made a proof of concept. So I've directed a proof of concept uh, of this uh, film that I'm hoping to make, um, and that's actually a love story. So. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. It was nice to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you for chatting to me. Thank you so much. Thank